Here in Philadelphia, Citizens Bank Park, Major League Baseball on tap on this Thursday night. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And on the mound in this one, Spencer Turnbull. A power pitcher that is going to pitch aggressively with the fastball. His fastball velocity ranks near the top in the league. We'll also throw the slider, but if you're a hitter, be ready for the fastball. You're going to see a few of them during your at-bat. Leading off, O'Neill Cruz. The shortstop. O'Neill Cruz. The pitch. A little bit low. Ball one, no strike. Here comes the pitch. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Kicks and fires. The shortstop takes the ball. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Turnbull, he's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep. And that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. One ball, Next one Next pitch, not close, up high. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Gone! home run of the season and they jump out front it's one nothing Boog his plan was to hit the ball hard and he was going to figure out the rest later you can't argue with those results his bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park Base is empty, one away. Now batting key, Brian Hayes. And that one pulled foul. And here it comes. In the air to left center. Sizes this one up. Two down. Here's the Pirates lineup now. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Brian Reynolds. Boog, he's really been showing off the pop in this series so far. Two homers, and you know, he'd love to add on with another shot today. I'm interested to see how they approach him. Jack Sawinski, the next Pirate to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swings through that one. Let's see if he's willing to use no the whole field right. right here. Definitely pounding him away. Two down, nobody on. Got him. Out number three. One in the inning for the Pirates on this solo homer. It's now 1-0.
You're dialed into the show. Back here in Philadelphia, and today's starter, Mitch Keller. How about a scouting report on him? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. And here is Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Gets under and pops it up. Should have this one. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Got it, second. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And an important bat for them, batting fifth in this one. Bryson Stock. Well, right in the middle of this lineup, and that's exactly where he belongs. I mean, he's there for a reason, Boog. This guy, they know they can rely on him, and he's a force, a presence there that, you know, puts a little trepidation in that opposing pitcher. We'll see what kind of impact he has in this one. Trey one. Turner at the plate now. That's ball one. He swings and fouls one off. One out, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. Three. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants the back at the plate. Three. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Bryce Harper stands in now and watches strike one. And a foul ball. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. And one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, We'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And that is there. Harper frustrated as he's rung up on strikes. And he lets the plate umpire know it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Second inning Leading set to go. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you get a little extra of the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course of a game, though. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the well, latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't well, chase that time. Play. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great.
the 2-2. Swings and misses, struck him out. Two outs, bases empty. Connor Joe, the next to hit. And a good eye there. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he held up. <laughs> On the ground. Stop. On to first. Oh. And the Pirates go one, two, three. So they go quietly there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Pirates one and the Phillies nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park at the play. Alec Bohm. The third baseman. Alec Bohm. The right-hander back to work. Foul ball there. And that one fouled off. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. This is Bryson stop. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One down, Phillies down a run. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Cruz, as this one sized up, makes the grab, two down. Well, oh, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing good. and miss or weak like contact. You. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. That one misses. And that is ball one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Reynolds ranging back. And it's out of here. Homer of the year, and this game is tied. It's 1 1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. That's in for a strike. No question about this one. It's out of here. Back to back, his second.
second homer of this series, and the Phillies take the lead. It's 2-1. Back-to-back home runs, and they keep adding to their lead. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Next to hit, Garrett Stubbs. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs, bases empty. Righty to the plate. Three. Got him swinging. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. New inning getting started. Now here is the number 19. Season, Jared Triolo. Turnbull back to work. Wouldn't Whoa, chase that damn. time. Now wanted one. Fought off foul. Good what? eye in that spot. It's a good take. Down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. And it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. This is Joey Bart. Fouled off. He was late. Nobody out. Runner at first. And it's even up. Way to lay off that pitch down. Right hander kicks deals. And it's strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Foul ball still a one and two count. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Let off the game with a strikeout. Runner on the go. That's in for a strike. Throw to second tag. 
out at second. You know, when you've got cooler temperatures like this, sometimes it's a little harder to get some offense going because hitters just don't want to feel the sting in their hands. They don't barrel it up. So being aggressive there, trying to get into scoring position by stealing a bag, I get it. Sometimes you just have to try to manufacture some runs, especially in temperatures like this. Two outs. Strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Two down, nobody on. The shortstop takes the ball. And another ball. That one misses. Three and two now. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me yes I think I could draw a walk throw over to first no, he and he dives that. back in safely if it were an average catcher behind the plate I'd say take second base but this isn't a catcher you want to run on his quick release is unreal rudder takes off inside. pitch misses inside throw to second he's and he's safe. safe Chris his wheels were the difference maker on that play just got in there yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. And there's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Slider misses outside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Man on second, two down. And a swing and a miss. Filthy the change up right there. Just pulled the string. Man at second. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Throws him with the heater at the knees. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates one. As we go to the last of the third. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. The wind and the pitch. And nope. that's outside. Okay. One and oh. And the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Got it by him for the K. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. That clips a corner. Schwarber measures six feet even, 31 years old, and though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. The 0 1. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. And a pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. 
back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, no and that's now three seven. in a row. Yeah, Short he's stop. really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing him where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Up the middle, and that one handled on the run, sends it over to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates one. The Turnpike series continues now. And now it's going to be Key Brian Hayes. Turnbull back to work. Slapped foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jack Sawinski. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. The Phillies leading by a run, top half of inning number four. Misses inside, and now 2-0. Probably looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Just missed. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three, two, he goes off speed. He gets the out. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. 0 for 1 so far. And it's fouled away. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to first on the run. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing across here this half. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Harper now. The first baseman. Right. Harper. And a pitch. He was late there. Strike one. These hitters have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. The pitch. And he swings through that one. No ball, two strikes. Not even close there. And the count is one and two. A 
on the ground right side. Throw over to Telez. Harper retired. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now it's Alec Bohm. His first at bat was a strikeout. Love coming to Citizens Bank Park. Best ice cream in all of the league at the press level. It's only been around since 2004, but plenty of awesome history here already. It's the only stadium with multiple postseason no hitters. Remember Roy Halladay did it back in 2010? And the Houston Astros threw a combined no no in game four of the 2022 World Series. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Comes up empty, that's strike two. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. And now one and two. That's inside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You could tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. And that one is inside. And down on strikes he goes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Nothing doing here this half. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates one. Back here in Philadelphia, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Rowdy Telez. The wind of the pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Gregory Soto up and loosening in the pen. Nelson getting loose as well. Righty delivers. Pitch one misses one. there. And the count is one and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Nice. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough yeah. ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. So digging in, Connor Joe. Grounded out his first time. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Two away down. Now that second baseman, Jared. Here's the second Rio. baseman. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work Four, a little bit harder. Inside. Breaking ball inside. And it's one to know. Foul ball. Oh. 
into center. Rojas under it. Makes the catch. And that's the third out. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now, Nick Castellanos. The pitch. That one a little bit high. And that's ball one. And another ball. The wind to kick the 2 0. Ball three. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. That just four, four. missed. He Eight, walked three. him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. He's already homered in this game. This is again five in a row. On the inside corner for a strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a rocket out to left. And it's caught for the out. Now batting. Catcher. Garrett. Stubbs. Now the catcher up to hit. Garrett Stubbs. Struck out swinging his first time. And that's in for a strike. On one. And a swing and a miss. I think he was a little excited oh, there. Saw the right. fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Punch out there and two away now. Well, not much you can argue with there as a hitter. That pitch was dotted on the inside corner of the plate. I think even if he swings the bat, it blows him off and not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get the fat part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip your cap on that one. Great execution. Next to hit, nope. Johan oh. Rojas. Knock right field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. He was all over that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. So the batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Ripped, but it curls foul. First and second, two down. Last half of inning number five. Next oh. offering is downstairs. Oh. 
swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch is downstairs. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Got him. Third out. Phillies leave a couple, but they still lead it two to one. And we're back. Top six. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joey Bart. The pitch. And that's outside. Ball one. And that one fouled off. Plate. The count now two and two. Kicks and deals. Line drive. He's got it. One away. Now that and now the Pirates leadoff man O'Neill Cruz he's 0 for 1 well here's a deal not everyone remembers Cruz was actually signed by the Dodgers in 2015 but Los Angeles dealt him to Pittsburgh in 2017 for Tony Watson that's a rare trade the Dodgers just might regret Why to kick the pitch? One ball, two strikes. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Ground ball up the middle. Jump throw. And the Pirates oh. go one, two, three. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates one. Back here, Citizens we Bank Park. Well, we go bottom six. Now North it's the shortstop, shot. Trey Turner. Turner. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And it's a one one. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Kicks and fires. The shortstop takes the ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And 
and the righty deals. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Hits the fence. Around first and hustling for second. He makes it safely with a leadoff double in the sixth. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now here is Harper. And a foul ball. You know, these fills, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. Hey. That's almost always going to lead to positive Let's results. Do. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Chop to third. And he picks it up in foul territory. Just on, off the outside corner. And the count one and two. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Line drive, and it's fair, just inside the line. The run comes in from second. It's 3-1, and he's got a double. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Derek Shelton out of the dugout, and he will make the move. Mitch Keller won't go any further tonight, and it wasn't his best start, but he kept them in it to this point, and will come back with a new arm. Jared Jones on the pitch out of the pen here. And that's a big potential run out there at second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Here we go now, Phil. First yep, pitch, and he out. just misses. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Martin Perez appears to be getting loose. Ryan, the right-hander, also getting loose. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Oh, Broke hard oh, out of the zone, and he just couldn't man. hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and... There's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. And stepping in is the speedy Bryson Stock. And oh, delivers out. outside. Runner at second here, one gone. In the air, out towards left center. Makes a nice running catch. Two down. The right fielder, number eight, Nick Castellano. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. 
Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Now batting left fielder, Brandon. So up next, Brandon Marsh. He's already homered here in this one. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. And now the count is even. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. First and second, two down. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that's the inning. Bryce Harper with the run scoring double for the Phils. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Top of inning number seven. Now the third baseman, P. Brian Hayes. The pitch. And a foul ball, third base side. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Parker grabs it on the run. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to lock onto the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. Here's the left fielder, Jack Sawinski, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. On the ground, right side. Harper steps on the bag and two away to start the seven. Andrew McCutcheon. To the plate down for Pittsburgh is the D.H., Andrew McCutcheon. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Hey. This guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Hey. Inside corner for a strike. Hit in the air, right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies three and the Pirates one. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Martin Perez. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now for the Phillies, Phillies Garrett the Stubbs. The catcher. Yeah, right. Well, not only can Perez pitch, but he can also sing. Remember he performed the national anthem for Team Venezuela leading up to the World Baseball Classic? You watch that video, you'll see how much that moment meant to him. And here it comes. Ball that one, one off the mark. One ball, one, one strike. Ball, one strike. And ball there's two. a ball. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, they'll do it again.
Lifted in the air, out to left. One up, one down. Up next for Philadelphia. The center field. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. One for two. That clips the corner. Oh, and one. And that's in the dirt. And it's a ball to strike. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And a pitch. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Now batting. Kyle Schwarber stands Kyle. in for the Phillies. Schwarber. And the Whoa, first pitch down. misses for ball one. Hey. Top of the zone for a called strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Here's a 2-1. Swing it a foul straight back. And now two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. On the ground, right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Pull that one right in the direction of the shifted no matter, defense, no but no one could make a play no. on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Runner at first with two away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, oh. Trey Turner. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Two outs. Broken bat, roller to first. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. you got to love his hustle down the line to beat the flip to the bag. I mean, there's a lot going on between a first baseman and the pitcher during these plays, and he just kept his head down and beat it out. Here's Bryce Harper, one for three. And he grounds one to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Phillies leave a couple as the lead remains 3-1. Back at Citizens Bank the Park. Pirates. We're at the top of the eighth. The now it's going to be Rowdy Telez. Rowdy Telez. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm Eight. delivers. And that's in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Right-hander kicks, deals. Going to count one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. 
Boom. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Line drive. He holds it in. Two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. The Phils up by two, and we're in the top of the eighth. That one missed. Oh, he's looking to try to finish off eight solid innings out there on the mound. He's just getting to 100 pitches right now, man. It's been so impressive. He's been really good in this one. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking. And it's a three up, three down inning. Bucks go down quietly. Score holds. It's 3-1. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen. Ryder Ryan. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Alec Bohm getting the ready to Philly, hit. The third baseman, Alec Bohm. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Line drive caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. So digging in, Rice and stop. On the ground to third. On the run, throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now the right fielder, Nick. And now for the Phillies, Tough Nick Castellanos. There's a strike. Activity in Pittsburgh's oh, bullpen. Aroldis Chapman preparing to come on if needed. Here comes a pitch. On the ground to third, Hayes. And the Phillies oh. are set down in order. Three up, three down that time. Through eight full, it's the Phillies three and the Pirates one. Here's Joey Bart now. The catcher, Joey Bart. Turnbull back to work. There's a strike. That's to third. Boom. Throws out to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Couple of pitches and a quick out. So the lineup flips over at the plate for Pittsburgh. O'Neill Cruz. A strikeout and a walk. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Phillies trying to close out a two-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Next pitch in for a strike and the count one and one.
righty delivers. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Stone pulls that one down, and there's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Last chance now for the Pirates. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Brian Reynolds. That one not close. And that is ball one. Just missed. 2-0. Hit to second, and this should do it. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Phillies claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. And your final, 3-1. The Phillies hang on to win it for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.